Hi, my name is Julie, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up an online hybrid application. So first, open at Visual Studio. Uh, we're going to create a new project. Make sure you have the hybrid templates installed. They should be popping up here. And we're going to go ahead and create a hybrid client application. I'll just stick with the default name. Go hybrid app one create. All right, so we've created this and then we need to right click on the solution, add new project, and we're going to go ahead and choose the online template. So this here is the online template. If you were doing an offline application, it would be this one here. So choose the online template, click next. We'll just go with the default name, default location, click create. And here we go. So I will go ahead and open up the designer here. There we go. I will go ahead and add a button. So we'll open the toolbox. Add a button. Change the text. Hit escape. And I'll go ahead and double click on the button to pull up the click event. Here, we're just going to go ahead and do a, um, a native uh, display prompt. So var result equals device dot pop-ups dot display prompt. And you can see here there's a bunch of things in the uh, display prompt function. Uh, I'm just going to do the title and message. So the title will be name, and then the message will be enter your name. And then after they enter their name, we'll show an alert box. So we'll do alert box to show, and then we'll make it a little fancier than just showing their name. So we'll say welcome. We'll put the name in brackets and put a dollar sign here. So we've got string interpolation going on. So welcome, we'll say their name, and then we'll put a little exclamation point. And then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check and make sure the device is valid before running this. So I'll say if device dot valid and then run all this code uh, so this will check that it's actually running in the hybrid environment and so if it's not running in the hybrid environment uh, we'll just go ahead and show a message box that just says running from web browser All right, so we've got our button set up. We've got code, so our button does stuff when we click on it. Uh, so now we're going to go ahead and set up a dev tunnel. So I'm going to go to my my hybrid application. So if I go here, you notice I can configure startup projects. So I want my uh, online application, this one here. So I'll set that as my startup project, and We'll go ahead and configure the dev tunnels here. So currently I don't have any dev tunnels, so go ahead and create one. That's my account there. I need to name the dev tunnel, so I'll just call it YSJ Hybrid Test. Uh, I want this to be persistent, so we'll use the same URL every time, and then I'll make it public so anyone can access it. So click OK. DevTunnel has been successfully created. And then we'll go ahead and run it using the DevTunnel. So this right here, 
there we go. This will run it in the um, in the web browser. So we'll hit continue. And this is the URL that we need. So I'll go ahead and copy that. And then if I click on my button, you can see running from web browser, right? So we're not running in the hybrid environment right now. We're just running in the web browser. OK, but we've got our URL copied. And then I will go to my my first project here, hybrid app one, go to the startup. And you'll see it has a spot for the startup URL. So instead of local host, I'm going to paste in the dev tunnels URL and control S to save that. So now I want to configure my other startup project. So we'll choose hybrid app one. Click OK. And then just double check. Uh, in this case, I'm using a Windows computer, so I'm just going to run this on my Windows machine. And so there it is running on Windows. Um, but what we really want is we want to run both at the same time. So go to Configure Startup Projects, Multiple Startup Projects. I will set them both to Start. Um, I don't want Start without debugging because that, that wouldn't have the debugger. So like if you were trying to set breakpoints, it wouldn't work. So we just want Start. So we'll click OK. And then I will run this. So this one here, right, it's still running the web browser. And then this is my, my Windows application. So if I hit continue, right, so it's running through Windows. And if I click, click me, so now you can see the, the native um, box there. So I'll enter my name. So that's how to set up a YSHI hybrid application so that it runs online.